welcome to the Pat and AJ Post Show for Friday the 13th. I'm wearing my uh, 50, well not really 50, a bunch of different shades of gray That's sweater. That's like three shades of gray. Get it though? Different shades of gray, not that's, 50. Like three shades of gray. That's how much she's into it. 50 shades? Nah, she's good with three. Typical married woman. 50 shades of gray comes out. Very excited about it. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I've been excited about it. when I remember hearing the date. I'm like, Valentine's Day 2015? That's like a year and a half. Yeah. I can't wait that long. And here we are. And here we are. And I know I'm going to be disappointed in the movie. And it stinks, but you, I will you, still see it. You're going into it with a terrible attitude. She's literally been talking about it all week, but... I'm not gonna like it. Well, it's, no, but it's gonna suck. Give no, me a I'm break. I'm like a, I'm a generally pretty happy, positive person. I just I'm not, I don't want to get my hopes up because movies based on books are hard. See, because that's when your... you read the book, you think you basically picture the movie in your head, and then people get disappointed when the movie doesn't live up to. But what that's was in your like head. your thing. That's where AJ Suffer and Irish side comes out. She's right. She's a very positive person. But she looks at every scenario in life as what is the worst possible outcome. Why? Yeah, because then anything better than the worst exactly. is an improvement. So the day we got married, she goes, oh, this is so great. It'll as be long so as he sad. shows up. <laughs> yeah. This is throughout the, our history, the way she looks at situations. Oh, I do. It'll be so sad when we get divorced. But until then, it'll be Stop great. Stop it. Give You're... birth to our son. She goes, I'm so, I'm so sorry when you end up being a felon. But... What are you talking? You're making a mountain so out of a molehill. The worst case scenario... But she looks. I've just for that. never been like impressed by a movie made out of a book that I read first, and I think a lot of people feel that way. So maybe I don't. know, Maybe I'll love it. We'll see tonight. But that's why I'm wearing my Fifty Shades of Grey sweater. It's also now with Tavi and Friday the Thirteenth. Don't forget tomorrow is Valentine's Day, or as us Catholics refer to it, Saint Valentine's Day. Can you talk about me nicely now and, and tell everybody why you like me on Valentine's Day? Because she doesn't care about Valentine's Day. I don't care. Doesn't care at all. I don't know. I, I know it's like an actual, there's an actual St. Valentine and all that stuff. Yeah. I just don't care. A martyr Valentine's was bludgeoned Day. to death. Yeah. I don't care. To me, it's become a Hallmark holiday and... It's not a Hallmark holiday, but I think it's up there now. There's expectations, like with New Year's Eve. Like, New Year's Eve is so hyped at this point. Yeah. If you're not out of having the time of your life, you feel like you're missing something. And I think if you're in a relationship uh, on, on Valentine's Day, you're expected to have this incredibly romantic night and day. Yeah. And if you don't, you feel like you were left out on something. Although it's kind of nice. I think the older you get, the less the expectations are. Like, I remember being in high school... And I, oh. I dreaded Valentine's Day because if you didn't have a boyfriend, which I never had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day, these girls would get like their lockers <laughs> decorated with balloons and they'd be walking around with flowers. Or the girls who dated guys that didn't go to that school, yeah. they would get flowers sent to the school. <sighs> I, I always felt like, like, like the biggest loser. I'm like, yep, I got nothing. So what? But I dreaded it. Every well, year I dreaded it. Let's plant the L on her forehead some more. I actually, my junior year had flowers sent to me from one of the girls in school because she wanted to be my valentine. All right, I'm out of here. Just All right. I'm um, fine. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys have a fantastical weekend, whether you celebrate Valentine's Day or not, or if you go see Fifty Shades of Grey. Maybe you'll be at our party tonight. Maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, yeah. click yeah. on uh, the button below us. That's the subscribe tab to find out about all the videos that pop up here on the Cars on my YouTube channel. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.